what step you should do after high long service in singles. This is a very important uh, element in singles because if you do the step right after high service, every time you will do that right. So every rally you will start with a good step, good pace. But if your step is not right after service, every single time when, when you start a new rally, your, the forced start will be always late. That makes a big difference uh, in the whole match. Before I get on to the actual steps, I would like to explain about the location, the position you should serve from. If you stay this much, if you look, that is a service line, and that's you. That is too close. So after service, you have to move back too much. So your movement direction is backwarded because you were too close. For example, it's a service line, you are about here. And too close, too much room. So service, and you have to move back, which is uh, not good. It's not neutral. If you stay too far, that's a service line here, your service has to fly a little bit too flat. And after you serve, you have to move forward a bit. Same reason, not ideal. So that's service line. If you serve from here, you are too close. That's a service line. If you service from here, you are too far back. You should be about the middle, about here. About here. It's the right base. And try not to be too close to the line. You might accidentally touch the line and you get faulted and you lose points. Not here, about here in the center. Before I explain what step should be done after high service, I would like to look at John, how John is doing. And then I will explain, I will point out the things can be improved. Please imagine we are playing a match. So after your high service, I'm going to attack. So try to return it, like feel like a real match. Okay, now please, Focus on uh, John's uh, movement after the service. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, now a little bit higher. Okay. Yep. Yep. If I want John to do 10 out of 10, everything right, John did about 20 or 30% out of 100%. This is what I want John to do. Service high, go. At the moment, I am static. I'm kind of uh, uh, waiting. So the player should do that. So we are ready. After serve, my opponent may hit attack clear, smash, fast drop shot. Let's say they are 100 miles per hour speed. In order for me to follow 100 miles per hour speed, 
of the shuttlecock opponent is hitting, I have to increase my movement in the similar way. This is the way. Serve. Yeah, ready? There. So I am moving myself and then ready. My speed is not 100 miles per hour, but it's nearly 60 or 70 percent uh, miles per hour speed. So I am closer already to opponent uh, hitting speed. Just compare. There are some players serve and then stop weight. Stopped. Zero speed. Opponent to hit 100 miles per hour speed. From zero speed to follow that is not possible. Will be very, very slow. Feel it. Serve. Stop. And then clear. Serve. Stop. Defense. It's not possible to follow very advanced level of shots if this player's step is uh, zero. But compare. Serve. Yeah, move. One, two. Serve. You yeah, ready? One, two, three. If I serve high, I should do more steps. Like that. If I serve uh, middle, less. If I serve a flick, like this. Depending on how high, how low I serve, I have to make a step by myself to get too close to that speed. Another explanation. We are field relay, 400 meter relay players. John is running past the baton to me. Then what happened? Okay, back, John. John run. Then I run to match the speed. That's what I am talking about. But surprisingly, many players are not doing it. Looks like the relay 400 meter race, the team running, runner is running his oh, back, please. Okay, run, he stop, and then he start. It's the same, it looks like it. So for John, John did the 20% right. After serve, he moved, he did it. But number one, not fast enough, not urgent enough. Number two, the body posture and the focus with the shuttlecock. The connection with the shuttlecock is a bit less. So this is what John did. Serve, one, two, one. I want uh, John to do it here, there, and then do that. I want uh, John to do it here, there, and then do that. So it should be top to bottom, it should be tensed. 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 So because of that, I can push it off. Not serve, stop, and then go. When I see the players' singles match, seven or eight players, not really urgently, not really seriously ready, to get in to the same speed of the possible opponent attack speed. Serve, there, and then do that. So for me, what I do here, I serve, I move slightly back to feel whole of view, and then slightly forward the hit, just a little bit. Rather than 
I saw with this spot, I move the same spot in red. To me, serve and then there. Little bit back, forward, slightly, gives me more push of power to any direction. This is what I mean. Same spot. There. Or here, there. And then there. So slightly moving backward, a little forward, push. Okay, set. I serve. And then ready, one. I serve. And then ready, one. There. One. I do flick. One. Because it's a less, much flatter kind of drive service. There. One. The wrong way. Stop. And the body posture. Service, not like that. Standing. Serve, there, there, there. Look, together. Not like that. Why I do that. I want to return my opponent's shot. In singles, the most difficult shot is the first shot after your service. It's the hardest shot you can return. After first shot, it will be much easier because you are in the same speed. But the first shot is the hardest. And That will give you the same speed. That will help you so much more to return the hardest first shot. No chance. <laughs> <laughs>